Hey guys, what's up? It's Masanara3 here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the best, like by best, I mean the absolute best intros on Sony Vegas for honestly absolutely free if you already have the program. And if you don't, I'm going to have a link in the description below for the 30 day trial. I highly recommend checking it out. There's obviously methods on how to get the program for free, but um, check out the trial below. So, um, yeah, before I get started, I just want to say, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already, because I'm on my way to 7,000 subscribers, and I hope it's appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and open up YouTube, and then from there, search up Sony Vegas uh, Intro Templates. And uh, from there, all you have to do is really look around on here. I actually really like this video over here, so this is what I'm going to use for the video purposes and stuff. I'm also going to leave this in the description below. Um, it has 50 uh, templates that you can actually look on. They're all Sony Vegas compatible, After Effects, and Cinema 4D. But for this video, we're just going to be using Sony Vegas. If you do know how to use After Effects and Cinema 4D, uh, by all means, feel free to do so. But um, I'm just going to do Sony Vegas for this video. So essentially, um, you can go ahead and watch the specific uh, videos and like quickly like pan through and find what intro you like. And then down here, there's going to be some download links. So I'm going to go ahead and find an intro I like, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys. So I think I found one that I like. It was number five. So what we're going to do is go ahead and scroll down to the description below and then click on number five. It should open up a new tab and then it's going to show you this. As you can see, it does say Sony Vegas template. So there are some, usually the 3D ones that look kind of cooler are only for After Effects and Cinema 4D. So uh, go ahead and download those if you actually have the software. I'm pretty sure the steps aren't going to be that much different, but they probably will vary. But uh, so I actually like number five, I believe. So we're just going to go with this one. I'm pretty sure it's number five. Let let's just go ahead and check before. I accidentally downloaded something I don't want to. So, yep, it was number five. I actually really like this one. It looks pretty simple. So all you have to do is open up the description below and click on download. Now, once the download link actually appears, all you have to do is click on the download button right here. It might ask you to subscribe or something else. As you can see, it is going to ask us to go ahead and subscribe, like the page, and follow on Twitter. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. And uh, within a few seconds, the download link should appear. So as you can see, the download link is going to appear in about 20 seconds. So I'm not too sure if I actually have to do this, but I'm going to get back to you guys when the, appear, the link actually does appear. Alright guys, so the link did appear. I actually went ahead and uh, unfollowed and unsubscribed and all that stuff. But uh, go ahead and click on the download link from here, and it's going to take you to a Mediafire page. So from here, all you have to click on is download, and set it to where you want. So I want it on my desktop, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Once the download has finished, all you have to do is go back to your desktop and double click on the zip file, and you're going to see a folder in here. Now what I recommend doing is actually dragging the folder out of the zip, uh, back onto your desktop. So you should have two folders now. You don't really need the first one anymore, but this is the one that we're actually going to do things with. So essentially, you're, you might not have this file and this file, but you should have this one, this one, and this one. And it actually depends on whatever intro you actually download for Sony Vegas. But essentially, all you have to do is double click on the Vegas file and open up Sony Vegas. So I'm going to do that, and I'll get back to you guys in a few seconds. Alright guys, so we are here and we, as you can see we do have the intro downloaded into Sony Vegas and it is in our timeline. So essentially what you have to do is scroll in on your scroll wheel so you can actually like maximize your timeline I guess if that makes sense. And you're going to see the two text files right here. So what you want to do from here is click on the little green button right here. Uh, whoops, I zoomed out. But once you click on that you're actually able to edit the text. So if I want the bottom to say t um, for example tech videos and more. And I'll go ahead and add that, just so the viewer can actually see what kind of things are on my channel. And then on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put my channel name. But I feel like it's actually going to look better if it's all capitalized, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Click on close and add a quick little fade to the front and at the end, just so it looks better. And uh, go ahead and play that one more time, and hopefully it looks nice. So, uh, let's play it back. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm pretty fond of the intro that I just made, so obviously I'm going to leave everything the same. I think I'm going to add a quick little fade to the beginning of the song, just so it doesn't sound too loud right off the bat. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and render it by going to File, Render As. Uh, I actually have a template for my render, so I'm just going to quickly teach you guys how to do that really fast. So what you want to do 
is uh, go ahead and uncheck anything that you do have over here. And then from there, what you want to do is go down until you see Sony AVC slash MVC. Click on this one, which is 1920 by 1080. Click on Customize Template. Go ahead and make this uh, 59.94, so it's actually 60 FPS. But it actually depends on whatever you want to do. I'm just going to save it as 60 FPS, and I'm going to render it using my GPU. And uh, obviously you might have different steps if you actually use Sony Vegas and stuff like this, but these are the kind of things that I use for my videos. And I'm just going to click on OK. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on Render. It should go to my desktop, so I'll talk to you guys when it's done. Alright guys, so that only took about 17 seconds, so once that's all done and it gets to 100, you can just quickly close out of that, minimize this and this, and you should see it on your desktop. So I'm just going to quickly play it for us, and uh, hopefully it looks as good as it did on Sony Vegas. And uh, there you guys have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're already. Because I'm on my way to 7,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But as I did say before, all you really have to do is search up Sony Vegas intro template and look around until you find a template that you actually like. Go ahead and download it in the description and all that good stuff. And the steps are pretty much the same for every single template. All I have to do is look for the green box on the text layers and then go ahead and change them to whatever you want. So yep, that really wraps up the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.